Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll take a closer look at calling and managing your contacts in the phone. When receiving an incoming call, drag the indicator to the right to answer it. To decline the call, drag the indicator to the left. To end the call, press the End Call button. To make a call, locate the phone icon on the home screen. To dial a number, enter a phone number and tap the Call button. To turn on the loudspeaker during a call, tap the Speaker button. To mute the microphone, tap the Mute button. If you need to access the dialer keypad to input numbers during a call, tap here. To save a dialed number as a contact, press the Save button. Then create a new contact. If you are logged in with your online SYNC account, such as Sony Ericsson SYNC or Google account, you can now select which account you want to save the contact to. Enter a name for the contact and tap Done. Tap the Call Log tab. A list of your recent and missed calls appears. To make a call from your log, tap the telephone icon next to the name of the contact. By pressing the name of the contact, you can choose to call a contact, send a text message, or view the contact in detail. Press the back key. If a number appears that isn't in your contact list, tap the number. Then, add to contacts. Now tap Create New Contact and enter the information for it. Tap Done. Press the back key. Press and hold on a contact. This will bring up a menu with different options. Press the back key. To clear the call log entirely, press the menu key and tap Clear Call Log. When you have missed a call, this symbol appears in the status bar. Drag the status bar downwards and tap the missed call to view it. Now let's have a closer look at your contacts. Tap the Contacts tab. You can now access your contacts by pressing the contact icon from the home screen. To add a new contact, tap this icon and select which account you want to store the contact in. You can either store it in the phone's memory or you can choose to save it to your online SYNC account such as Sony Ericsson SYNC or Google SYNC. Tap the contact picture and select a picture. Tap Gallery to add an image from your picture gallery. Drag the orange border to crop the photo and then tap Save. Now fill in the details for the contact. You can add more fields by tapping the plus button and then which type of field you want. You can also set a default ringtone to the contact by tapping here. Tap a ringtone to preview it. When you are happy with your choice, tap Done. When all the details are filled in, tap Done. The contact is now saved. Tap a contact to see the details. Tap Favourite to make the contact appear in the list on the Favourite tab. Tap it again to unfavourite. Press the Back key. Since your combined contacts can come from different accounts, such as Facebook, Twitter and Google, you can filter the list and choose which contacts that should be displayed. To do this, press the Menu key and then Filter. You can now filter the list to only display contacts with phone numbers or if you have friends on Google Talk in your contacts list. Mark this checkbox to only show friends that are online. You can also choose which accounts to display contacts from. Tap Google and mark the checkboxes for the contacts you wish to display. Now tap Facebook and mark all contacts to make them appear in the contacts list. When you are done, tap OK. Press the menu key. Here you'll find options for managing your contacts. These are import contacts from SIM or memory card, backup contacts, filter, send contacts as a .vcf file via Bluetooth, Gmail or SMS. 
delete contacts and settings, where you can manage your accounts and sync and choose which status updates should be shown in the contacts list. Tap settings and then accounts and sync. Here you can add another account that you can sync your contacts to by tapping add account. Press the back key twice. Finally, tap the favorites tab. Here, the contacts you have marked as favorites appear for easy access. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone, where you can improve your user experience.